remember it was uh, an ANC, or at least we were told it was an ANC National Delegates Conference, although it turned out to have been something slightly different uh, than that. Uh, for me, it is okay for the party to decide to move into coalition as they did with the, the United Democratic Alliance. I cannot fault them. That is okay, it's their right, it's their prerogative. But the, for me, being uh, the candidate for the Democratic Party, uh, my question is, yes, uh, can we also, as a region, agree that uh, there is necessity for us to coalesce within one big political party for this region? Because, as I've said, there is strength, there is strength in numbers. That is my pitch for the Mount Kenya region, that it is our voice, our, our voice, our, the strength in what we say will be derived from our unity. And therefore, I have not uh, uh, in any way discounted the value of what happened on Sunday, but that is theirs. I cannot dwell on that, but suffice to say, I am ready to continue with my journey of pushing for the unity of the Mount Kenya region. We are going to have our National Delegates Conference on the 21st of uh, February and it is on that day that uh, the party will make a decision as to who it is that they would want to direct me to discuss with. If we decide on the other hand to go it alone, so be it. We are not cowards. We are, we are equal to the task. But uh, there is uh, always a uh, space to talk to other like minds who are out there. And there are many. It's not a secret. So we are not saying that we are shouting out anybody. No. We are ready to reach out to other parties. But uh, for the time being, we are concentrating on uh, galvanizing the region to rally around uh, the Democratic Party. We recognize um, uh, the presence of uh, other parties within the region, the NAC Kenya, uh, Moses Kuri has um, Chama Chakazi, Kyunjuris, TSP, and uh, Kabogos Jibebe. They are all political parties, they have been fully registered, they meet the requirements under Article 91 of the Constitution and the Political Parties uh, Act. So they, they exist legitimately and they have a legitimate space. For the time being, I am more concerned about um, rejuvenating the Democratic Party. That is not to say that the others are, they, they, they have no space, they have, they have space. We talk because we believe there is a need for us to move uh, in one direction as a region. It does not affect um, the, the existence of the party in its current form. Uh, it only proposes uh, minor changes to what exists. Except, of course, remember, you know, the, the, the bill is still before the Senate. In fact, the Senate is going to consider it this week. Uh, obviously, as you know, there is no law that uh, will be passed without the involvement of the National Assembly. It will obviously will be coming back to me in the National Assembly. So I may not uh, be at liberty to discuss the nitty gritty about it, but I am alive to some of the propositions in it. Uh, as um, a senior official in the Democratic Party now, uh, given the fact that the NEC has given me the latitude to speak on behalf of the party, I can say that uh, we are quite comfortable with the professions. There's nothing wrong with a party having a strong presence in a particular region. That is uh, normal, it happens recently actually. It's only that, uh, you know, sometimes in Kenya we have short memory. Uh, I'm not in that category. Recently you saw uh, a seat which was uh, for close to 200 years held by the Conservatives in UK, being won by a lady from the Liberal Democratic Party. And that area is a stronghold of the Conservative Party. Even in America, we see green, area, green states, blue st I mean, the red states, blue states. So this thing about a party having a strong presence in a region is not bad. It's actually very good because it also means that the people around that area gravitate towards certain, certain aspects that help them move forward. It's not, a, it's, not, it's not a secret that you'll see people in this region gravitating towards a party that addresses such issues. 
to do with the economy. And therefore, I think it is um, misguided and you know, misinformed for anybody to, think, to say that uh, a, party, a, party is, uh, a party having a stronghold in a particular region makes it uh, tribal. It isn't. I, I, I disagree.